modern astronomy owes a great deal to ancient people. The people of ancient civilizations were as fascinated with the stars and the heavens as we are today. From the ancient Greeks to the Babylonians to the Maya, they all contributed something or discovered an important aspect of astronomy. And this lesson will take a look at just three of the cultures and civilizations that did so. Ancient Babylon was a city-state that was located near modern Baghdad. The Babylonians were very advanced astronomers for their day because they had a system of writing so they could record massive volumes of astronomical observations from which they created mathematical models. Mathematical models that created calendars could then be used to time important things throughout Babylonia, like business transactions. Nowadays, the world of business takes such things for granted, but it was very different in ancient times. It's important to know that while Babylonians contributed much to astronomy, including the ability to accurately predict astronomical phenomena, they did not conduct such investigations from a purely scientific standpoint. Actually, much of their work came about as a result of astrological influences, and Babylon was the birthplace of the earliest forms of modern horoscopic astrology. Like the Babylonians, the Maya, a group of Mesoamerican Indians, were just as interested in astronomy and seemingly for mainly the same reason, astrology. Unfortunately, little knowledge about the Maya's use of astronomy exists because their texts were burned by Spanish conquistadors. What we do know is they developed something known as the Mayan Long Count Calendar, which actually arose out of a very sophisticated number system that used a base of 20, as opposed to the base of 10 we use today. Regardless, such a numbering system and their astronomical observations allowed them to predict the motions of the planets and things like eclipses, which would oftentimes be used to prognosticate important events or to indicate a good time to do something like start a war. Warfare was also a large part of the Roman way of life, so much so that one ancient astronomer encompasses the melting pot of people that was conquered by the Roman Empire. Ptolemy was an ethnically Greek citizen of the Roman Empire who was born in ancient Egypt while it was under Roman rule. He was an astronomer most famous for developing the Ptolemaic system, one that influenced astronomical knowledge for hundreds of years, albeit a bit erroneously so. This model posited that the Earth was located at the center of the universe, something that has since been disproven. A lot of Ptolemy's knowledge came from Hipparchus, an ancient Greek mathematician who is considered by many to be the greatest astronomer of ancient times and the father of trigonometry. Hipparchus cataloged hundreds of stars and discovered the precession of the equinoxes, a term for the wobbling of the Earth around its axis, kind of like a spinning top. This wobbling helps explain why in about 12,000 years, the North Star will no longer be Polaris and will actually be Vega. Ancient Babylon was a city-state that was located near modern Baghdad. Its people recorded lots of astronomical observations in writing. This helped them create mathematical models that explained astronomical phenomena and helped them devise a calendar. Another calendar was developed by the Maya, a group of Mesoamerican Indians. The Maya, like the Babylonians, studied the stars mainly as a result of astrological desires, not so much for scientific pursuits. They used their sophisticated number system and astronomical observations to try and predict favorable times for things like war. War helped the ancient Romans conquer Egypt, the place where an ethnically Greco-Roman citizen called Ptolemy was born. He was responsible for developing the Ptolemaic system, which held the earth was at the center of the universe. Ptolemy based his work on another astronomer's work called Hipparchus, who discovered the precession of the equinoxes, a term for the wobbling of the earth around its axis.